Let's check this question. In a school, in a school, there are uh, thousand students. How many students? Thousand students. Out of which four thirty are girls. He said only girls number. What about the remaining? So write down boys. Boys are how much? Thousand minus four thirty equal to five seventy. Correct answer. And girls will be girls will be four thirty. It was given. It is known that. Underline this word, known that. It is a conditional question. It is a conditional question. Out of 430 girls, 10% of the girls study in the class 12. So what is the probability that a student chosen randomly studies in class 12, given that the chosen student is a girl child? Okay, what was given? So let us, G indicates selecting God. G indicates selecting God. Copy it. G is a selecting God. And C will be selecting class 12 student. Selecting class 12. 12 student selecting class 12 student. He said, what is the probability of that a student chosen randomly studies in class 12? What kind of probability we needed? Class 12 student probability we needed. That will be numerator. So we need class 12 student given that it is a girl chair. So P of C by G, we have to calculate. So what is required probability? That will be numerator. What is given that? Look at that given that. Given that, after given that, that should be in the denominator place. G will be in the denominator. And C will be in the numerator. So P of C intersection G divided by P of G. P of C intersection G divided by P of G. Now uh, we want to calculate these particular values. <coughs> okay, copy. So what is P of G? What is the probability for girl student? 430 girls is there out of 1,000 students. Okay, that is probability of G. Uh, what is the probability of C intersection G? <coughs> what is C intersection G? C intersection G, you can find that value. That means class 12 student and is a girl. So he said 10% of the girls study in class 12. That means this 10% of the girls, 10% of the girls, look at this word. 430 girls is there. Out of them, 10% of the students are class 12 students. That means 430 of 10%, how much? 43 out of 1,000, 1,000. Out of 1,000. 43 divided by 1000 total students out of total students that is a school 1000 students is there only 43 students are class 12 girl students in the entire 1000 so that's what so now we will calculate this probability so this is equal to intersection value is how much 43 out of 1000 by 40, 430 divided by 1000. You can cancel 1000, 1000 here. So 43 table you can cancel in 10 times. So 1 by 10 is the answer of this question. Copy.
Yes, sir. No. Okay, copy next question. Question number two. Question number two. Prove that P of A equal to P of A intersection B plus P of A intersection B bar. So we will prove the first statement. Take RHS part. So the RHS part is P of A intersection B plus P of A intersection B bar. Okay. So P of A intersection B will be same. Plus, what is the formula for P of A intersection B bar? This is called only A. This is also called A, but not B. Okay, this is also called P of A minus B. And the formula for this is P of A minus P of A intersection. Copy these formulas. So write down here. P of A minus P of A intersection B. P of A intersection B got cancelled. So P of A left, which is LHS. Next, second question. Second question, you can take RHS part again. What is RHS part says? P of A intersection B plus P of A intersection B bar plus P of a bar intersection B. Okay, I will share the links. So copy the same P of A intersection B plus. So look at the formula. P of A intersection B bar is P of A minus P of A intersection B. And what is the formula of this? P of B minus P of A intersection B. Yes, this A intersection B got cancelled. Uh, look at what left after cancellation. P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Uh, this is addition theorem. Addition theorem, you can write P of A in and B, which is LHS part. Okay. Okay, next third question. In a dice game, a player pays a stake of one for each throw of a dice. She receives five. She receives five. She receives five. 
she receives 5 if die shows a 3 2 if the die shows a 1 or 6 and nothing otherwise what is the player's expected profit per throw over a long series of throws okay this is ncrt explorer problem exemplar problem yes this is from random variable this is from random variable so let us suppose define the parameters x denotes the variable of profit of a player can have that means what the player is getting that profit will be indicated with x varshit Viran, Suhas, Yoga, Sichan, yeah. <clears throat> Let's observe this question. Stake of one for each throw of a die. <clears throat> she receives five rupees. If the die shows, if the die shows a three, what is the probability of showing die three? One by six. So probability of one by six. Probability of getting four is one by six. Four rupees of profit. One by six. One rupee. The probability is one by three. How did he get this one by three? Because look at look at this uh, heat. The die shows one or six. One or six means either one. What is the probability of die shows 1? 1 by 6. And also 6? 1 by 6. So, R means plus. So, add it. 2 by 6. 2 by 6 means how much? 1 by 3. So, so this is the probability of 1 by 3. What it, what it says? 2. 2 means? Stake of 1. That means he will be paid at 1 rupees. And 2 rupees he will get means what is the profit? Profit will be 1 rupee, right? He invested at first 1 rupee. And then he is getting 2 rupees for uh, the die will show either 1 or 6. That means 1 rupee is the profit of it. So x indicates the profit. So that's why look at this. x can take values minus 1. If it shows 2, 4, 6, 1 rupee for 1, comma 6 or 4 rupees for 3. Hmm? No? Okay. Is it okay? You have to reduce your volume also. If your, your volume is bigger than me, then I will raise the, the I will on the switch on the woofer. Okay. Is it okay? Fine. Next, x can take the values minus 1. What is minus 1? How did you know this minus 1? Because a player pays. A player actually, after 
uh, the the uh, game was done, he will get some amount for playing that game. He has to invest one rupee, stake of one rupee for each throw. For each throw, he has to invest one rupee for each throw of a die. Understood the situation? Let us suppose, assume that you are the player. You want to throw the die. You have to invest one rupee first for one throw. And after throw, the die will show some numbers on the top basis. So you are already invested one rupee. So for two, four, five, you are not getting anything. So look at this. Nothing otherwise. Nothing otherwise means what you invested one rupee, it will be lost. It is a loss for you. Otherwise means what are the events he mentioned for prize money? He mentioned the prize money, five rupees she receives, the girl is playing. Okay, Bhavna is playing. She will receive five rupees. The die show a three. Actually, she invested already one rupee. So for die show, if the die shows three, the profit is four rupees. Look at this. Four rupees of profit for three uh, die shows three. Look at here. Okay, look at here. <clears throat> And 2 rupees, she will get 2 rupees if that die shows either 1 or 6. Look at here. 1 or 6, the die will show. And she is getting only 1 rupee profit. Why? Actually, she is getting 2 rupees, but already she invested 1 rupee. So, the profit will be 1. And the other things. Other things means the die will show either 1 is here, 2 is not present because... He said prize money for 1, 6 and 3. 1, 6 and 3 only. Okay. So the other things means 2, 4, 5. So nothing will be, nothing prize will be allotted to these events, 2, 4, 5. That means 1 rupee will be lost. Understood this scenario? These two lines. X denotes the profit. For 2, 4, 5, she is getting minus 1 rupee. For 1 and 6, she is getting 1 rupee. And uh, for 3, a die shows three, she is getting four rupees. Understood this part? Okay. Now we will calculate the respective probabilities. So what is the probability? Okay, I will show here. Make a table. X will be the profit. What is the profit values? Minus 1 rupees. Minus 1 rupees, 1 rupee and 4 rupees. Okay, that is the profit she is getting. What is the probability for that uh, particular events? Minus 1 for the events of the die will show 246. Am I right? 246 or 245? 245. 1 rupee profit for? Hmm? 1 comma 6 and 4 rupees profit for 3 only. Okay. So what is the probability for 2, 4, 5? Die showing 2, 4, 5. 3 out of 6. Either 2, either 4, either 5. 3 out of 6. What is the probability of this one? 2 out of 6. And this is 1 by 6. Now he is asking expectation. Expectation. E of x. Multiply the these values with the probabilities. That is called expectation. So minus 1 rupee loss, she is getting, the chance of getting that amount is 3 out of 6. Okay. She is getting 1 rupee profit and the probability of chances is 2 out of 6. Plus 4 rupees she is getting and the probability chance is 1 out of 6. So this is minus 3 plus 2 plus 4 out of 6. 6 plus 3, 3 out of 6, that is 50% chances uh, getting she will be profited. Okay, understood this question? Fine. Next, fourth question. 
fourth question in a family of the husband in a family the husband tells lies 30% cases in a family means husband and wife uh and not except children also it is called family family without promotion and the wife the chances of telling lies is 35% chances find the probability that both contradict each other both contradict each other both contradict each other means one uh, one is telling true and the other one is telling false so, okay yeah. so write down question number 4 husband is telling lies we will mention it h bar what is the chance of that 30% 30% means how much 30 by 100 30 by 100 means oh okay 3 by 10 or 0.3 okay write down 3 by 10 that is better for calculation purpose 3 by 10 is better husband and wife she is telling um lies that is mentioned as w bar 35% 35% means 35 by 100 okay how much is this 7 by 20 so after getting this h bar and w bar values let us calculate h what is the percentage he will tells true husband will tells true 70% 70% means 70 by 100 is equal to 7 out of 10 okay next now wife telling truth will be how much huh That five sixty five percent sixty five percent sixty five percent means sixty five by hundred sixty five by hundred means cancel it five table thirteen by twenty okay now let E be the event they will contradict each other they contradict. contradict each other can you tell me what are the whole situations tell me the whole situations both are telling both are telling true uh, husband will lie and wife will tell true uh, wife will uh, tell lies wife lies and husband tells truth and both lies these are the four different situations we can have in the uh, between them so what are the contradiction situations are here look at this situation in this situation both are telling same they are both telling truth and in this situation also they are both telling false that means they lies both so that means they covered uh, they were coincide in these situations but these are the situations they are contradicting with each other so p of e will be you have to write these things w bar h plus h bar w okay so what is w bar probability 35% so 35 by 100 what is husband will tell truth 70% chances 70 by 100 plus h bar is 30% of 100 into w is how much come on uh, 65% of chances of 100 so the denominator will be four zeros uh, can you do calculation 35 70s are how much 
35, 70, sir. 7, 5, 35, 3 in your mind, 7, 3 is 21, plus 3, 24, 2, 4, 5, 0, plus, uh, do this one also, 3, 5 is 15, 1 in your mind, 6, 3 is 18, 18, that 1, 19, and 1, 0, okay, 19, 15. Can you add these values? 0, 5, 5, 10, 1 carry forwarded. 10, 14, 1 carry forwarded. 4, 4, double 0. Divided by double 0, double 0. 1 double 0 got cancelled. So let cancel in two tables. 11 out of 50. Oh, sorry, four tables. 11 by 25, okay. Okay, that's correct. 11 out of 25. That is the correct answer. Okay, understood. Next, we will do the next question. <coughs> question number 5. So, A, B are two events such that P of A equal to 1 by 2, P of B equal to 1 by 3, P of A intersection B is, solve this question, A intersection B equal to 1 by 4, P of A bar by B bar. What is this value? Calculate this. You want to make it fast. So write down what was given, P of A equal to 1 by 2, P of B equal to 1 by 3, P of A intersection B was given equal to 1 by 4. Using these three values, you are able to calculate P of A union B. Just tell me what is P of A union B? P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. So what is the whole LCM? 12. This will be 6 plus 4 minus 3. Uh, this is what? 7 out of 12. So what is asking? P of A bar by B bar. Can you tell me the definition of P of A by B? What is the formula of P of A by B? So write down. This is what called conditional event. P of A by B is P of A intersection B by P of B. Okay. So this is the formula, copy it. Okay. So according to the formula, according to the formula, you can write P of A bar intersection B bar divided by P of B bar. Okay. So what is P of A bar intersection B bar? So P of, you can write A union B whole bar. Observe the mechanisms. So you can write A bar intersection B bar as A union B whole bar. Okay. In reverse order, if you calculate this, complement of A is A bar. Look at here complement of union this bar is applied to union it will be intersection remember this point basic point and divided by p of b bar so p of a union b whole bar is 1 minus p of a union b 1 minus p of a union b whole divided by p of b bar okay so what is this 1 minus P of A union B, it is 7 out of 12. 7 out of 12 divided by P of B bar is how much? 2 out of 3. 2 out of 3. So what is this value? 1 minus 7 out of 12? 5 out of 12 divided by 2 out of 3. 3 got cancelled in 12. How many times? 4 times. So 5 by 4 by 2. So 5 by 8 it is. 2 and 4 got multiplied. Okay, 5 by 8 is the answer of this question. Understood? Copy.
next sixth question <clears throat> 10% of the bulbs produced in a factory are of red color and 2% are red and defective. If one bulb is picked up at random, determine the probability of it is being defective if it is red. So underline this word, it is conditional probability. If it is red, if it is red, he said, okay. So let's copy this question. Ten percent of bulbs produced in a factory are red color, and two percent red are defective. Uh, Ten percent bulbs are red color bulbs. So write down red color bulbs are ten percent. Out of ten percent, defective are how much? Defective bulbs are two percent. Bulbs are defective. If one bulb is picked up at random, determine the probability it is being defect. It is given that it is red bulb. So probability, the denominator will be red bulb and numerator will be red and defective. So this is called defect uh, conditional probability. Red bulbs are how much? 10% of bulbs and 2% of that defective, red and defective. So percentage, percentage got cancelled. So, 1 by 5 is the answer. Copy it. Hmm. Completed. So, 1 by 5. Next, seventh question. Seventh question, he said P of A by B equal to P of B by A. Then comment upon P of A and P of B. So copy this question. This is the NCRT problem. All are actually NCRT problems only. Hmm. So according to the condition, we will solve this question. A and B are, he said, two events. And given that P of A by B is equal to P of B by A. What is the formula for P of A by B? P of A intersection B by P of B. Hmm? Is equal to, what is P of B by A? P of A intersection B by P of A. Okay, look at this. Both are got cancelled. P of A and section B together. This means P of A is equal to P of B. Then tell me what is your comment? What is your comment? Come on. Oh, equally likely. A comma B are equally like. That is the comment you have to give. Okay. Very good. Next question. He is not giving any comment. <laughs> but you should have to give equally likely. Oh. <laughs> Next. Eighth question. A, B are two events such that P of A not 0, then find P of B by A if A is subset of B and A and section B both are empty sets, a common value exclusive events he said. Okay, let's copy this question. Exclusive events. No? Exclusive. Mm -hmm. 
A, B are two events given that P of A not zero. And we have to calculate P of B by A. So write down the definition. P of A intersection B divided by P of A. So what is the definition? P of B by A definition. P of A intersection B by P of A. And P of A, he said, not zero. And the first case, they said, A is subset B. A is subset. Subset means maybe like this. You have to write like this. B. A is subset B. So what is A intersection B then? A. Because A is the smallest set. A is the smallest set. A in section B. If A is subset of B, A in section B will be A. Okay. Therefore, P of A it is. Okay. A in section B will be A. P of A by P of A. How much is it? One. One. If probability is one means what is it? Probability one means what is it? Sure event. Hmm. B by A is called sure event. Next case. Next case is, he said A intersection B is equal to 5. Next case, A intersection B, he said 5. Okay, let's calculate probability B by A. Probability B by A is equal to P of A intersection B divided by P of A. So P of A intersection B is P of 5. Yes, can anyone tell me what is P of 5? Empty sets probability. 0. 0 by P of A is how much? 0. So therefore, it is also impossible in this situation. B by A is impossible in this situation. Okay, that's the comment on that. Next, 11th question. Copy it. 11th question. A and B throw a pair of dice alternatively. Okay. A wins the game if he gets a total of six. How many dice are uh, here? Two dice. They are playing a game. And the sum, sum he is saying, sum total of six, total will be six, then he will wins. A will wins. B wins if uh, she gets a total of seven. If A starts the game, find the probability of winning the game by A in third throw of fair dice. Third throw they are mentioning. Who wins? A starts the game. A will start the game. Find the probability of winning the game by A. A has to win the game. Okay. In the third throw. In the third throw means B always should be failed. B always should be failed. <laughs> alternately. Look at this word. Alternately. What is alternately means? If you are choosing two students like uh, Srija and Viren, first Viren will throw the dice. He fails. Then Srija will hand over that uh, dice. Again, uh, she throws the dice and she will, she will definitely fail. Always she has to fail because Viren has to win the game. But in the third throw, in the third row, third throw means third row. One round means both players are playing the game. That should be considered as one round. Okay, in the third round, he has to win the game. So his winning chances are he has to get six as a total. When two dice are thrown, six has the total. Okay. Hmm. Now let us start this problem. Let's copy this question. So let's calculate winning probability of A is 
winning probability of A is. Can you tell me what is winning probability of A? How much uh, getting six probability? Six probability. Let R be the sum. Sum of dice. R be the sum of dice. P of R is equal to R minus 1 by 36. When sum will be 2 less than R equal to 7. And 13 minus R by 36. Sum will be 8 less than R equal to R less than R equal to 12. Less than R equal to 12. Okay. So this is the formulas you should learn. Copy it. Copy these formulas. Okay. So what is getting sum 6? Getting sum 6. This formula you should use. Okay. So 6 minus 1 by 36, which is 5 by 36. Okay. Except that calculate A bar also. A bar means, you know, 1 minus P of A. That means A will lose the game. 1 minus 5 out of 36. How much is it? 31 by 36. P of B is equal to. Yes, tell me. B has to win the game. What is the total? Uh, B winning for total is 7. Look at this. This is the same formula you should use for. Look at here. Okay. Yes, write down. 7 minus 1 out of 36. 6 out of 36. 6 out of 36 means 1 by 6. Also calculate P of B bar. 1 minus P of B. Yes, how much is it? 1 minus P of B. 1 minus 1 by 6. How much is that? 1 minus 1 by 6. 5 by 6. P of B bar is 5 out of 6. Okay, required probability P is equal to. First round, both fail. A failed, B failed. This is first round. Plus second attempt. Second attempt. Second attempt also, they have to get failed. They have to get failed. <clears throat> and third attempt. Calculate this value. What you are doing? Huh? What you are doing? City. Let's calculate this P of A bar, P of B bar into P of A. That is third row. P of A bar, P of B bar into third row, P of A. Okay. P of A bar is how much? 31 by 36. P of B bar is? 5 by 6. P of A is how much? 5 by 36. So tell me how much is it? 5 5 is 25. 31 25 is. Now this is 0 5. 15 17. This is 0 6. This is 5 7 7. 7 75 by 36. 36 is how much? Into 6 is. That means uh, 6 power 5. 6 power 5 is how much? 6 power 5. 
Oh, sorry. Six power four is one two nine six. This is six power five, triple seven six. Triple seven six. Okay. Next question. Question number twelve. The probability that at least one of the two events A comma B occurs is point six. A and B occur simultaneously. So uh, understand the words. At least one of the two events A comma B. What is that meaning? At least one of A comma B means A union B. Remember this word. At least one of. At least one of means A union B. Okay. So write down A union B equal to 0.6. Look at this solution. A union B equal to 0.6. So this word. Remember this word. At least one of. A comma B he has to say. At least one, he said that is the other meaning. At least one of A comma B, at least one, he has to say at least one, then you can write A union B. Okay? Point 0.6. If A and B occur simultaneously, simultaneously means at the same time. At the same time means when uh, you switch on that light, at the same time you are pressing on that uh, switch, the light will be lightened, right? Both are happening at the same time. So that is called simultaneously. Okay? When I start the class, everyone be calm down, right? At the same time it is happening. So it is called simultaneously. Okay? You are uh, watching TV and eating something. Both are happening at the same time. That is called simultaneously. Okay, some of you are sleeping and eating. Both are happening at the same time. That is what called simultaneously. So that is what in mathematics it is called A intersection B. So look at this A intersection B is 0. 0.3. Okay, 0. 0.3. And we know that he is asking A bar plus B bar is how much? A bar plus B bar. Okay. Um, okay, I will solve this question. P of A union B is equal to how much? 0.6. P of A intersection B is how much? 0. 0. 0.3. 0. 0.3. He is asking that P of A bar plus P of B bar. P of A bar is 1 minus P of A. And P of B bar is 1 minus P of B. 1 plus 1, 2 minus of. P of A plus P of B. That is equal to 2 minus of P of A plus P of B is P of A union B plus P of A intersection B from addition rule. So 2 minus of what are these values? 0. 0.6 plus 0. 0.3. How much? 2 minus 0. 0.9. Can you tell me how much is it? 1.1. That's it. 1.1. 20 questions were given. 
and now we are uh, 13th problem a box has five blue and four red balls one ball is drawn at random and not replaced not replaced its color is also uh, not noted then another ball is drawn at random what is the probability of the second ball being blue so look at the understand this question a box has five blue and four red balls okay five blue and four red balls one ball is drawn at random one ball was drawn and not replaced without replacement so you have to imagine this question okay so before there is a bag there are uh, five blue balls and four red balls five blue balls and four red balls one ball has to selected from the bag and it was not replaced its color is not noted and another ball is drawn not noted means what it may be any color it may be any color we don't know and it will be replaced that means you are putting and observing that uh, uh, you are first selecting one ball first ball and throw it again the in the in the box in the bag you are returning the bag again and again one more bag is selected from that bag same bag okay and what is the probability that the second ball being blue it should be blue okay let's do this question so uh, mention uh, noted note that uh, composition on the bag Five blue, four red. Five blue. Suppose this is a bag. Five blue. How many red? Four red. So the first ball can be any ball. First ball can be any ball. Uh, required probability P is equal. To first ball is blue. Second ball is what is the probability for second ball? red or blue being blue being blue so bb plus rb bb means first blue second blue and the next thing is first red second blue first blue second blue what is the chance of first blue second blue so five out of nine, again blue, again five out of nine. Five out of nine, again five out of nine. Red means four out of nine, five out of nine. That is equal to 25 by 81 plus 20 by 81. This will be 45 out of 81. You can cancel nine table. Nine fives are 45 and nine nines are 81. So 5 by 9 is the answer. Copy. Why you are not copying anything? Hmm? What is that? Copy. Very good. Good. Next question. <clears throat> question number 14. Four cards are successively drawn without replacement four cards are successively what is meaning for successively first eating sweet after that uh, drinking some water and after that eating some biscuits after that drinking some water so he is not stopping any at any time so that is called successively successively eating drinking chit chatting fighting uh, not listening the class. Uh, successively is doing continuously this thing. That is what called successively. How many cards we have to draw? Four cards. Four cards. Okay. Without replacement. Without replacement means. So first, uh, show me the process without replacement. How he can draw four successive cards. First, he draw one card. Observing the card and throw it away. Ah, take it, take it, your side, take it, this card. And again, drawing one more card. Babia, take it. Okay? 
next drawing one more card ah ritesh take it and drawing one more card successively he is drawing continuously without replacing he is throwing somewhere he is not replacing the card okay that is the process going on out of 52 playing cards what is the probability that all four cards are king cards wow let's do this question okay mm. king cards king cards means no you know how it was looking like mm. he is showing half of the face okay Let's start the process. P is equal. Write down first card is king card. First king. How many king cards are available? Four out of 52 seen. And second is also king card. Come on, do this. What you have done with first king? is throwing away. And how many kings are available now? Three kings out of 51 C1. Very good. Next, third king. Third card is also king card. Come on, tell me how much. How many kings are available? Two kings are available out of 50 C1. And fourth king. Fourth card is a king card. Only one C1 out of 49 C1. So this is four out of 52, three out of 51, two out of 50, 1 out of 49. Okay, 4 can cancel 52 in 13 times. 3 can cancel 17 times. It can cancel 25 times. 1 by 13, 17 is 221. Into 1 by 49, 25 is uh, 525 is how much? 125. 1, 2, 5, 0. Or 1 less. No? What we are in? <laughs> 25, 49s. 1, 2, 2, 5. Mm. 1, 2, 2, 5. Next, 2, 21, 1, 2, 2, 5s. 270725. Okay, that is the probability. So write down this one 1 by 270725. That is the answer. Next, 15th question. P of A is equal to 0 0.2, P of B is equal to 0.3, and P of A intersection B is 0 0.1, and P of A by B, A by B and P of B by A is. Let's calculate this question. Do it, everyone. Try this question. Try this question. P of A is 0 0.2. P of B is 0 0.3. P of A intersection B is 0 0.1. P of A by B is. P of A intersection B divided by P of B. What is P of A intersection B? 0 0.1 by 0 0.3. That is what? 1 by 3. And next P of B by A. P of B by A is P of A intersection B by P of A. 0 0.1 by 0 0.2. What is that value? 1 by 2. Okay, understood. Very good. Next, 16th question. 16th question, this type of questions are very important. Definitely, you are getting one question of this pattern. Copy this. Board exercise. 
So write down this question. Actually, only two questions you will be asked in this one, but he is given three questions. So first we have to determine the value of k. As a solution, draw this table again. X values 0 and P of X values. This is what K. 1 is K by 2. 2 is K by 4. 3 is K by 8. Okay. First we will calculate K value. Sum of probabilities. Sum of probabilities is equal to 1. Sum of probabilities means K plus K by 2 plus K by 4 plus K by 8. K by 8. is equal to how much? 1. So k is a common factor. 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8. Can you tell me how much is this will be? 8 is a LCM. 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. How much? At least do some, at least a simple sum. Tell me the answer. Don't sit like dolls. Uh, 8, 4, 12, 12 plus 2, 14, 14 plus 1, 15. 15 by 8 is equal to 1. K is equal to how much? 8 out of 15. So that is the first question answer. Second question, determine X less than or equal to 2, X greater than 2. Okay. So second question. P of X less than or equal to 2. Less than or equal to 2 means how much? 0, 1, 2 is included or not included? Tell me. Included. Included. Very good. P of 0 is K, 1 is K by 2, this is K by 4. So K is a common factor. So 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4. K of how much is this LCM? 7. 4 plus 2 plus 1. Is it 7? So K value is 8 by 15 out of 7 by 4. 4 got cancelled. So 14 out of 15 is answer. Next question. In the second question, two parts he asked. Okay. The second part is x greater than 2. x greater than 2 means how many values we are having? Only p of 3 we can have more than 2. So write down p of uh, x uh, p of 3 only p of 3 means how much k by 8 what is the value of k 8 by 15 8 8 got cancelled so 1 by 15 is the answer next third question what is third question he said Third question is x less than or equal to, we should add it, these two values. He is asking to add these two values. P of x less than or equal to 2 plus P of x greater than 2. x less than or equal to 2 means how much? 14 out of 15. 1 out of 15. How much is this? 15 out of 15. 15 out of 15 is 1 now. Okay? This is the answer. Seventeen. Seventeen. Three dice are thrown at the same time. Find the probability of getting three twos if it is known that the sum of the numbers on the dice is six. Known that, underline this word, known that. Known that, okay, assume to what is this indicates? Known that. Known that means it is indicating conditional probability. It is indicating conditional probability. Okay. 
uh, fine. Three dice are thrown. How many dice? Three dice. So look at the events. Triplets. We are getting triplets. Same time. Same time they are throwing three dice. So three results you can have. Find the probability of getting three twos. Three twos we have. If it is known that some of the numbers on the uh, dice was six. Okay. So let E denote the three twos. F denote the getting some will be six. Uh, three twos means three twos means what? Two, two, two. So this is the only one event out of two, one, six. Okay. And some will be six. What is the chance of getting some six? One, one, four. 141411123231321322132213322222 okay these are all getting some six situations okay how many they are totally 10 situations out of 216 so 216 216 got cancelled 1 by 10 is the answer no huh? what water and hmm. Last two questions left. An instructor has questions, question bank consisting 300 easy, true or false type questions. This is very important question. Copy. Very, very important question. You have to solve this for two months. True or false type questions. 200 difficult questions. This is textual question, right? True or false type. 500 easy multiple choice questions, 400 difficult MCQs. If a question is selected random from the test bank, what is the probability that it will be easy question given that it is a multiple choice question? So let us uh, answer this part. E be the easy question, F be the multiple choice question. E intersection F is easy and multiple choice question. How many of them are easy and multiple choice questions? 500 out of 1400 questions. Okay, so the probability is 5 by 14. F means multiple MCQs, 900 MCQs out of 400, 9 by 14. So solve this question. E by F is asking. So what you want, MCQ types in the denominator. MCQs are 900 now. So that means 9 we got 9 by 14. And common value is 5 by 14, 5 out of 9. Understood? Can I explain it again? Hmm? An instructor has question bank consisting three easy true false type question, 200 difficult true false type. So there are two varieties, true false type, true false type. True false type, how many questions? Easy questions, 300. Difficult questions, 200. Total is? Total is 500. Total is 500 questions. Okay. Next, comma, 500 easy MCQs. 500 easy MCQs. 400 difficult. 400 difficult MCQs. So the book will contain total true or false type and MCQ type. Total is how much MCQ types? 900. So total book has how many questions? 500 plus 900. 1400 it is having totally. What? <clears throat> Understood? So according to... Okay, done? So the answer is 5 by 9. Copy. Understood? So E means easy questions. F means multiple choice questions. We have to select easy multiple choice. Um, okay, done? Next 19th question. Probability, only two questions left huh? in this session. 
the probability of solving specific problem independently a b r 1 by 2 1 by 3 uh, if both are trying to solve the question independently the problem the probability that exactly one of them will solve the question so what is the probability chances 1 by 2 1 by 3 independently solving chances are 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 so probability of a can solve the uh, chances p of a 1 by 2 p of b is 1 by 3 okay so not solving chances p of a bar 1 by 2 and p of b bar 2 by 3 okay understood this part next so let e be the event of problem will be getting solved by only one solved by one student by one only one by only one so p of e is equal to tell me the situations a will solve the question b is unable to solve that question b will solve the question a is unable to solve the question p of a is 1 by 2 this is 2 by 3 plus p of b is 1 by 3 and what is a bar 1 by 2 very good very good. don't cancel anything okay 2 out of 6 plus 1 out of 6 that means 3 out of 6 that means 1 by 2 is the answer okay last question Next, A speaks truth in 75% chances, B will speak 90% of the cases, he will, they will speak truth. 75% A, 90% B. In what percent cases, in what percent cases are there? likely to contradict each other starting the same fact stating the same fact do you think that statement b is true okay they will contradict we already solved this kind of question contradict each other wife and husband problem huh? in the same way we have to do this one also there also they mentioned percentages here also we have the percentages okay uh, 30 percentage 65 percentage 90 percentage huh? uh, try to solve this question Who is that person? A. Mm, Mr. A chance is what? At 50%. Mm? 75%, so 90%. Okay. So they are telling truth chance. What is the percentage they are telling false? 25%? P of B bar is how much? 10%. Let's come one minute. They will contradict each other. E is equal to contradict each other p of e is equal to p of a and b will contradict plus p of b will tells true p of a will contradict okay contradict means he is telling lies so p of a is 75 percent of chances p of b bar is 10 percent of chances p of b is 90% of chances, P of A bar is 25% of chances. So 75%, 75% means how much? 1 by 3 by 4. 3 by 4, 1 by 10, plus 9 out of 10, 1 by 4. Okay. 40 is LCM. 40 is LCM. So 3 plus 9. 3 plus 9 is 12 out of 40. 
that is four table you can cancel three out of ten is the answer this question okay uh, that's it the two marks questions ended next we will in next session we will do